The game of basketball is my life. I never would have thought that it's taken me to places it has. If this is your dream, you gotta get good at it, get good at your craft. Now granted, my dreams didn't come true of being a professional basketball player in the NBA, but here I am now, fulfilling somebody else's dream, training them to get into the NBA, or training them to go play overseas. I get to fulfill my dream through somebody else. It's an unbelievable feeling. I grew up right down the street from this airport. You know, we could literally, you know, ride our bikes to the airport if we wanted to. That's how close we lived to this airport. Nothing like home. That's daddy's old house right there, man. So this was the origin right here. Open up that garage, sneak some people in the house. <laughs> this is where I learned how to dribble was right here. I dribbled in the garage, it drove my mom crazy. You knew at 11.15 that garage door was gonna open up and she'd be home, because that's how long it took her, less than 15 minutes to get from her job at the airport to home. This is the memories right here. Crazy, man. Nothing like pulling up to this gym. This is the epitome of home court. This is where everything started for me, you know, I was, a scrawny little 411 kid. Anytime I come in here, I just always wanted to be the best. And, you know, walking in today, I got that feeling like I'm back in high school again, man. The whiteboard you can see back here, they just they just put a uh, they just put this planner on top of it. But this used to be the board where you had to come in and sign your name in when you first got to the gym. It's crazy, man. Growing up playing against those old guys, they wouldn't let us guys play, come out here and play on this court, man. You know, this was the court that everybody had to show your, show your game. You know, if you couldn't play, you couldn't be on court A. You had to go down to court B over there on the side and play with some other people, man. 7.30 in the morning, baby. We work in two a day. Anytime I'm in a workout, whether it be a pro, whether it be a, an 11 to 12 year old, San Bruno Park comes out of me. The competition, the, the drive, you know, this is where it started. We had so many battles in here, man. We had everybody coming from all over the place to play in this gym. And the first time I stepped in this gym was really, we had elementary school, fifth grade uh, championship games. You know, my mom used to sit in these seats back here and watch a little, you know, under five foot sun going up and down these, these, uh, this hardwood. Yeah, it's always the roughest part of the trip. You? Yeah, that's your grandmother. No matter what type of day it is, but I always feel like a breeze. a breeze. That's how I know she's listening. So right now, I can feel this wind blowing because she can. You feel that right there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she's listening. She's hearing you right now. She would have loved you too. My God. <laughs> My mom always used to say that. Don't ever give up on something that you love. Don't ever give up on your dream. I take it everywhere, and I also instill it. I instill it in everybody I work out. The why is definitely Haley and William. Whatever I do is I do for them. You know, I want them to understand that they can do whatever they want to do. Ready? Uh, hopefully one day they'll understand the sacrifices that daddy had to make in order for them to, to grow up and, and have the things that they have. Go. Shot. Yeah. Nice. Do it again, bro. Do it again. Ready? Go. Hit. It's crazy Shot. to think. I never thought I'd be a dad. <laughs> I never thought I'd be a dad. I never thought I'd have uh, two at, at, at that, you know, and, and for them, 
you know, they're now starting to play sports. They're now starting to get what daddy does. They get to see the passion that we have for this game of basketball, man. And, and I think that's the biggest thing that I look forward to and, and excited about is seeing them get happy on the court.